Hello and welcome back. We're going to be doing some weird stuff today and I'm pretty excited about it. First thing we're going to do, well actually uh, probably it would be easier to just go to um, Eat Freehold. Going back to Eat Freehold, what else is new? How many episodes have I started uh, in this series where I've been like, okay, off to Eat Freehold we go. Um... We're going to go to Eat Freehold and we're going to the Rainbow Wood and the uh, first thing we're going to want to do is um, we're, we're playing around with, with Brain Brine. It's a semi-dangerous thing to do, you know, as you as you are want or not want to do. We're going to be playing, oh, Ruins in the Palladium Reef, huh? Probably, probably pretty dangerous and we're inspired. Cobalt Opiden Elishan. Oh. Oh, there's some interesting stuff going on here. This is a lava ruin. Um, a greater voider has made enemies. That's actually... That really sucks. Because it means they, they've trapped us within their lava confines. So we're going to have to tinker up some thermoelectric cells just to, just to escape from this. There's some of these, these, uh, I, I forget what you call them. In interdictors. I still don't know what they do. We have a, tur a dynamic turret tinker, which is pretty good. Um. Oh, we just walked in lava. That was dumb. The, uh, arc winder is, uh, especially effective against robots. Which is kind of nice. So I'm just gonna hold out for this dynamic turret tinker to make some stuff. He's gonna he's gonna do it any second now. Any second there. There we go. Nice. I would love to get some more uh, antimatter cells. Blood gradient vacuum turret. If we could get some more cycle guns. That would be nice. I would love. I, I hate it when the dynamic turret tinker gets killed by their own um, turret. Isn't that the worst? Well, we got some nice stuff here. Herberry, eigen rifle. Uh, go ahead and disassemble that. Probably treat them as scrap in the future. I, I should just be. Able, like, I'd like to set all rifles to be treat as scrap. Okay, so now we're... Oh, there's a goat folk village. Eh. We're gonna go to the Rainbow Wood. Remember, we're on good terms with goat folk. That was a lot of time I spent um, trying to make friends with goat folk and it not really adding up to much, wasn't it? <laughs> that kind of sucks. Um, but it's fine. Okay, so we have some primordial juice here. We're gonna go ahead and pour... Um, Port nearby, brain brine. And we're gonna see what happens. See if it turns into a primordial slime. Primordial soup starts reacting with the brain brine. Let's see what happens. We can just like wait a certain amount of time. Oh, there, there's something. Nervous, soupy, nervous mono sludge. Amazing. Fantastic. Okay, so... And they've just hit us with... Nervous water. Um... I'm gonna kinda spoil this for myself and just see what nervous water... Can we do anything with nervous water? Hold on a second. Brain brine. Do-do-do. Uh... Brain brine and precognition. Mm. Not really seeing anything here. First roll uses pre per creature RNG. Let me see here if if uh, I'm just gonna hit like Control F. Nervous. Ah. 
If it is a part of a mixed liquid or an item is stained with brain brine, it becomes nervous. A file of the liquid can also be found. So, well, can we drink nervous water? I don't know if maybe killing this guy will give us what we want. Soupy nervous salt. Soupy nervous salt. I don't know if we can do anything with that. I can try drinking dilute brain brine. Oh, there we go. I don't know what dilute means. It might mean, I guess it means that it's not as good. Like, can we, uh, can we take out the dilutedness of it? I'm gonna try drinking some of it. You are now moist. Nothing seems to be happening. Um, let me let me try looking up dilute. Water. A oh, soupy sludge. Oh, and there's a there's a business here in it. Dilute. Um, okay. Let me see. The liquid has a 20% 20, 20 chance of being the first liquid that the sludge has absorbed. Unless it is cloning draught, brain brine, or sun slag. All of the good ones. In which case, fresh water will also be included, making them split spit dilute cloning draught or dilute brain brine instead. Otherwise, it will be a combination of all absorbed liquids. Uh, these liquids are not considered poured and thus do not become salty when spawned unless one of the liquids absorbed was salt. Um, mm, that kind of sucks. So you can't you can't duplicate um, those kind of liquids. Lava sludges. Oh, they are among the easiest companions to proselytize because of their the low level and willpower of a mono sludge. Pouring liquids cause them to become salty, so letting them absorb salt first may be a good idea, just in case the sludge absorbs the salt instead of your intended liquid. Disabling their liquid spitting ability can be useful to prevent them from contaminating areas with potentially dangerous liquids. Um, all right. So I'm pretty sure the dilute uh, liquid business was added in a attempt to nerf exactly what I'm trying to do here. I don't know how one, um, like, I don't know if there's no, I don't think there's any chemistry in, in <laughs> uh, Caves of Cud, unfortunately. So there's not really any way of like taking water out of a, of a out of a fluid. Um, adding water to any other liquid will cause the liquid to be dilute. Any mentions of water in this article will be assumed to be about fresh water. Uh, freezing sources of water. Using a desalination pellet on salt water will turn it into fresh water. Trading, consuming water. The water is the only liquid with the which the alchemist does not sell. Good to know. Well, I guess that's that. You cannot, uh, you can't, you can't clone brine, uh, brain brine. Kind of want to die, <laughs> and I think I'm going to. Um, goodbye, cruel world. Uh, we just got an achievement, by the way, on the rocks. Why did I do that? Well, well, I've been kind of sitting on that achievement for a while now, and I don't want to waste that brain brine, uh, knowing, f you know, knowing that it's actually useless to us. Um, I would prefer to keep that one extra brain brine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go back to the tomb of the eaters. 
Um, and I'm gonna drink some brain brine. We're gonna drink all of it here. Tastes salty. Your mind starts to swim. You become confused. What are directions on a space that cannot be ordered? All you know now is an ether faster than the very mathematics that descri describe it, and you are not, nor will you ever be again alone. Um, you've gained the activated ability boost strength. Boosted. I think we just got ego projection. Oh my god, that's an amazing mutation for us. Your ego is decreased by one. Well, that's not great for us, but... Ego projection is incredible. And this is also, if we get more mental mutations like this, we're gonna, our glimmer is gonna become insane. Um, yeah, like, ego projection is, is a fantastic mental mutation, especially for us. Um, all right, let's, let's continue. I mean, it, it, we can only go down from here, but, you know. No, not pour, drink. So that was our fourth dram of brain brine remember we're working towards an achievement on this this is not just me doofing around we got some info on some settlements ruins ruins with becoming nooks ruined settlements your ego has decreased this is a weirdly um like viable way to manage one's ego fifth brain brine uh dranketh Remember, we can also get flaws this way. I'm not going to, I'm not going to save scum if I get any flaws because it, it just makes things a bit more interesting. We got a bunch more secrets. Refused the kith of the gleaming specter of the tinker's theocracy of Ur entrance to a local library. Interesting. We are lo lo losing quite a lot of ego from doing this. That was our sixth dram. You learn the skill spry. You learn the skill weathered. Snake oiler. All right, so we got a bunch of skills. Those are actually pretty good skills too. So our ego is now down to 31. Um, we could put another point into that, but I honestly kind of want to put a point into like either agility or intelligence. We got spry, but we don't have acrobatics. We should take acrobatics. It's a good skill. And I really should take, uh, I think I don't have charge. I do have charge. We should take death throwing. I'm especially gonna make use of that right now. Um, where's, where are we at with pistols? We need um, agility 23 for the next one. And disarming shot is actually really good. There was a discussion in my comments about disarming shot. So let's um, let's take agility this time so that I can get disarming shot. I, this is like one of the few actual pistol runs I've been doing. So I, I should actually like take some pistol abilities. No accuracy penalties for firing pistols while running and disarming shot. Good stuff. Okay, that was good. Um, I mean, I you know what? In the in the spirit of uh, like, I, I really just want to like set that all of that business in stone. Uh, I'm gonna go to um, a named location so that I can uh, just set a checkpoint uh, and and just like solidify all of that, and then we're gonna go back to Tomb of the Eaters. Sorry, uh, I know that some of this might seem like kind of cheatsy uh, save scum scumming, but I'm actually doing that for the sake of like cementing what I've done. And the only thing I kind of save scummed me was, was me drinking lava. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and fight some cherubs. 60% uh, chance of failing. And we're just going to hit some cherubs. And um, these, I don't think these are robots. No, they're insects and fish. So what we're gonna do is shift G is gonna bring up my grenade. 
list and then I'm gonna start throwing freeze grenades and uh, we're gonna not lock on. Ouch, we're taking some nasty hits. I am coated in plasma. That That is mostly my, <clears throat> my uh, clones doing. I'm also close enough to get hit by the Arcwinder's kind of like discharging ability. So part of the problem is that they're using guns right now and they're shooting the cherubs um, and that's def they're deflecting the cherubs. The, 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 the shots are getting deflected to us. So in a way, the temporal clones are actually doing more harm than good. But we've managed to uh, freeze everything. I'm pretty sure I can't um, shoot them still. I, I haven't tried the geomag. Oh, I accidentally pressed T. Right, because I was geomag. The geomagnetic disc was on our. Uh, was on our, our throne. I forgot also, like, since we're, we're using um, plasma and freeze grenades, it means we're, we're going to be frozen for quite a long time. So I'm actually going to use a blaze injector. I didn't really have to. Oh, no, your mutant physiology reacts adversely to the tonic. You erupt into flames. I mean, that's kind of okay. We're in a pretty good position because oh, they're coated with um, with plasma. They our, our clones did do some pretty good damage. They're coated in plasma and frozen, so that means it they, they, it's you know they can't regulate their their heat. That's the idea anyway. We're gonna go ahead and discharge. Um. Flurry. I'm just trying to do some damage to one of these guys. We'll go ahead and demolish. Yeah, they're surrounding me, unfortunately. So what we're going to do is we're going to sprint. And remember, we, we take no penalty for doing other actions while we're sprinting. So we're going to throw another freeze grenade. And actually, I'm going to throw another one. Just... Oh just to get uh, their temperature really low and we're just gonna we're gonna hit them uh, we're gonna go ahead and take an herbary just to hasten this a little bit Ugh. that wasn't that was not great I did it too close to myself Okay, just need to not be frozen. We're not frozen. They are frozen, which is good. And I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna try hitting them with plasma. I'm just, wow, I can't even shoot in that direction. They just like deflect it instantly. I was trying to like get them coated in plasma just so that they, they would, they wouldn't get, uh, they wouldn't unfreeze as quickly. What I could do, honestly, in the future is like once they're frozen like this, um, pull out the the you know some explosive grenades. See if we can't uh, tank. I'm gonna take an herbary just in case. Let's see if we can't tank one of these guys while we fight the other one. There we go. And then we'll. Perma stun this lad. So they they're worth a thousand XP each, by the way, in case you're curious. This is kind of the situation I wanted to find myself in. That guy hits me for a lot, so I'm gonna turn on demolish and then uh, stun them as well. And I'm just gonna alternate between them so that we keep them both perma stunned. It would almost be worth taking off the guns um, and like 
just working with the temporal clones um, melee abilities because like them shooting and throwing grenades and all kinds of business is not helping. In fact, it's it's doing the opposite of help. Okay. That's another 1,000 XP. We did manage to kill them without dying, so that's nice. So, what it, uh, Imperial Sarcophagus of Mirrorad. Plus three AV to occupant. Right, we don't want to... We, we don't want to go in there. So this has Castile Face and a pistol. It's an, it's a, it's an arc winder. It's a high voltage arc winder. Oh, dang. But we, we wouldn't be able to mod it, unfortunately. Oh, it gives us plus four intelligence. Oh, that's really, really good. What does the Casile face do for us? It's really good. And gives us um, plus one to all mutation levels, plus six to cybernetics license tier, not great. But I mean, it, it gives us mutation levels. Quickness, 10 quickness. Oh my God, grants you telepathy. This thing is amazing. I kind of want to just take this and then make a note here. Took Casil face. Took, like, it, this could not have been better for us. A really good pistol and uh, this, this uh, mask is, like, fantastic. Casil face. I'm writing it down in my little book. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, take off scoped spacer pistol. Replace cell, remove cell. So the only thing that really sucks is that I don't, we, we can't mod a, like a historic item like that. So that means we, we actually have to do like um, energy management with it. I wish you could mod it. That would be like amazing, but yeah. So we'll have to occasionally charge this thing, but this thing, what does it do? Plus four intelligence. So like we can actually take Tinker three now. Uh, no, we can't. Right. Oh, we don't have enough skill points. Okay. I'm not sure if you can take Tinkering 3 if you have, if you only have intelligence like but via a loophole or an item. So we're going to look at all of the history here. I'm really hoping that we've gathered enough history that we might actually complete the story. If I have completed the story, I will actually read the full story. It's been a long time since I've. Uh, like bothered to read history of a sultan. There's a lot of history here that we didn't know. Uh, it seems like we didn't know any history about Mararad. I thought we had a lot of Mararad history, but apparently not. Wow, I didn't know any of the history here. Apparently it wasn't enough though, because uh, I still don't have a complete history of Mirror Red. So that's kind of a bummer. All right, we're moving on to the next floor. And I'm not sure how we're going to handle this. Oh, is that a tree? Are those trees? I'm pretty sure we, we have good reputation with trees. Plus 10 willpower. Reflectively shielded. Physical features. Cherubic bark. Yeah, th these are trees. Okay. They also have electrical generation. Or at least one of them does. Um, so why don't we, first of all, I'm going to make some more freeze grenades. 
And then I'm gonna make some high explosive grenades. And like, this is just a really easy way to kill cherubs. It really doesn't, it almost feels like cheating because um, it's, it's kind of not fair. Can we make some plasma grenades? Yeah, we can. They're kind of expensive. Let's make some Mark IIs. Mark IIs are not nearly as expensive. Because what I want to do is basically coat them in plasma and then freeze them. Uh, and that way they will take a lot longer to, to freeze. So we're just going to go ahead and throw this in there. And then we're going to switch to freeze grenade. Try and being careful not to get uh, covered ourselves. I don't want to be locked. God damn it. Even if you throw it right in front of them, they can still um, avoid it. And I want to try and be careful here. Wait. Oh, you take 43 down. Okay, so that was their electrical generation. Um, that's fine. That's, that's basically it. That's all they get from their electrical generation. So the fact that we withstood it without much concern is actually a good sign. We're gonna basically hit them. I'm pretty sure hitting them with electrical generation isn't really gonna do much for us. So you can see like how long those other freezer remaining frozen is that's, that's the plasma at work right there. And then occasionally we're just gonna, well, we're, we're gonna occasionally freeze ourselves, unfortunately. But um, we have blaze injectors for this sitch. Okay, so that's one dead. And we can even demolish and then stun them. So now they're like stunned and frozen. Oh, ouch. They managed to shake off the stun and then uh, hit us with, with their electrical generation. I'm gonna go ahead and herbary again. What hit us that hard? Oh, the, uh, their normal attack is actually, like, really nasty. Okay, let's, uh, sprint. And then we're gonna go ahead and throw a grenade there. Um, let's just, like, kill them with high explosives. That was a bit close. Bit too close to me. I'm. I'm. I'm it's not. Not a great idea. Okay. One more herbary. Okay. We're. 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 We're good to take one more of those, and uh, let's just keep hitting them with the high explosives. That's. That, that hurts a lot. Hurts me too. But you know. That would, those high explosive grenades are have a really wide arc. Okay. Uh, I didn't mean to actually move. I was. I was trying to aim. Let's just do a flurry and try and uh, get them in a perma stun. Wow, they they hit really really hard with that that bark. Let's go back to freeze grenades for a moment. No throwing weapon. Did I run out of freeze grenades? I think I did. Oh, that's not good. That's no good. Okay, um, let's eat another herbary. This is why I, I save them. Is this guy, okay, injured? At, the, at least they're injured. Cause like, they seem, oh my God, that, they hit so hard. Oh, all right. Doorbell. Great, great moment for a doorbell. Um, so I'm thinking, can we sprint? 47 rounds. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna run away for a moment. 
And I want to, I'll, I'll take another herbary if I can. Oh, we're still okay for that. Uh, and I'm going to Temporal Fugue. Ugh, maybe a mistake. That was maybe a mistake. I died instantly. I told you, I told you them clones were not gonna help me. Oh my God. <laughs> they immediately threw high, the, the <laughs> high explosive grenades. Oh God. What a nightmare. Well, that, uh, that really sucked. Okay, we're gonna have to do this again, unfortunately. These plasma grenades are probably not worthwhile. It might be better to make um, thermo grenades instead of freeze. Because, well, we don't actually have very good ones. I thought we had Mark IIs or threes, but we don't. We could make some um, stasis grenades. Because then that might do a better job of freezing the other uh, cherubs while I do my business. We could do that, um, and I, I, I think I just need to not not do clones. I think they're just like 100% gonna get me killed. So let's do some, oh, okay. You gotta, you gotta be very specific about where you throw them. Cause if you aim wrong, then um, they'll just get deflected. There we go. They do not last long, those stasis grenades, do they? No, they don't. So I'm gonna have to keep on it, unfortunately. And you can see, they're not great. What the heck happened? They're all around me, all like immediately? I know cherubs are meant to be hard. I understand this. So, you know, I, I, I should not be surprised if there's a couple of uh, surprises. But this is not exactly going well. I think what happened there is I accidentally got hit by a stasis grenade. And then it immediately just like, you know, time skipped. Um... Yeah, we're, we're not doing well right now. I might just like die. We're gonna die. Cause I wanna try this again. I think I think my freezing method was better overall. At least I did okay last time, you know? Like it went all right. Uh, all right. And you know what I, you know what I didn't do is I didn't, I equipped the arc winder, but I didn't equip the, um, the face mask and that face mask is amazing. Okay, so we are equipping plasma grenades and we're gonna be throwing a bunch of plasma grenades. God damn, like I'm, I'm trying not to hit them and it still, it still ends up like deflecting away, right? Which is a little bit frustrating, but it's, it's my own fault. I mean, you just gotta like give them a wide berth basically. They're doing a really good job of avoiding that plasma. Look at that. Uh, and I think we are coated, yeah, we're coated in plasma ourselves. So we're on to freeze grenades. I'm going to throw freeze grenade over there. This is how I have um, fought cherubs in the past, by the way. It's, it's a system, it's worked out pretty well for me. Like... Once you get things in a good way, once you get basically all of the cherubs frozen that you don't want to fight at the moment, then it works out really well. And then basically just like, every, you know, stop fighting for a bit, throw another freeze grenade, make sure you keep their temperature really low. Um, if you're in a cudgel build, it's pretty good because you can perma stun one uh, of the cherubs while you're fighting another one. That other cher cherub over there is making me a little bit nervous so we're gonna try and 
freeze them. Okay, we're good. And uh, it'll take us a minute, but pretty sure we can, well, no. Remain stunned, but not, not stunned. Sorry, they are stunned. Okay, that was actually perfect. I was a little bit worried that other cherub was gonna get to us in time, and they, they kind of have, unfortunately. I'm going to have to, let's discharge. There we go. We managed to kill one. Um, are these beetles any different? They're just, they're the same beetles. So I'm going to move around them. That's unfortunately, they, they gave him a free hit uh, to, to hurt us there quite a bit. So I'm going to have to herbary up, but I just want to make sure I have line of sight to throw more stuff over there. Why are we getting... Wow! Jeez, these guys. They really do hit hard, and there's not much you can do about it. The only way to really deal with this is to, to keep him stunned. It really is like my best weapon against them. I'm gonna tr take a moment. I just need to make sure they are stunned, but I really, like these beetles aren't great either because they also remain stunned. Let's keep these guys frozen. Um, they have like crazy high penetration and it's letting them like, hurt us so if you keep them keep them frozen keep them stunned then there shouldn't be a problem badly wounded okay so this one's gonna be a bit of a pain because they're there's they're together like this what I'm gonna do is um, switch for a second coat them in plasma this actually does pretty good damage to them also And then we're gonna go back to freeze grenades. Once they're coated in plasma, they can't regulate. So they should be like super frozen. Um, I could like keep freezing them like this. I'm pretty sure once you reach a certain like temperature, you just die. And I think that is true for like all creatures. Vibrates to warm itself. It might be that they like they have built in um, defenses against that. So I don't know. We could throw some other things like poison gas grenade. They are taking damage. I don't think they're taking a lot of damage. Um, what else could we throw at them? Not a lot. Um... We'll just wait for a bit. They'll take a bit of damage. They are taking some pretty nasty damage from the, the cold and plasma. In fact, that I'm pretty sure they will die. Yeah, that's one of them dead. And then uh, the last one we'll take care of ourselves. We're gonna, yeah, there we go. You're frozen solid, okay. And we're coated in plasma, so my, I am, Hoisted by my own petard, as they say. Okay. Uh, I am going to take this again. It's the same business, yeah? Plus four intelligence. We get some fish rep. Um, and I, actually, I was going to use our metamorphic polygel onto this. You can, This does actually work. Loud buzz is emitted. The unauthorized glyph flashes on the side of the applicator. Oh, sorry. It used to work. I guess I'm one of the last people to have done that but um yeah i guess you can't use metamorphic poly gel on a, on a face oh that sucks i did that in a run uh, on stream and it was amazing because i had two of the same faces oh damn that that just that's a blow right there that 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 is a blow but anyway it's still worthwhile Still a really good item. 
Um, no point in honestly equipping the uh, historic high voltage arc winder right now because it uh, it's it's not gonna do it for me. It's we gained telepathy. I forgot about that. Um, you know what we can do with telepathy actually is uh, we can do something that we sh we should ought to have been doing for a, a long time now, but uh, I'm not gonna necessarily spoil it. I'll, I'll do it before I end the episode. Wait, what? Why are we going down? What? D should I have been moving left? Huh? Uh, I don't understand. The next one is trees, right? Did I, like, brain fart just now? What happened there? Okay, here are the trees. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna reset our tools, recoiler. Uh, we're gonna have to replace the cell with a different cell. I don't know, will this work? Imprint. Does not have enough, it really needs a high charge. So let's go ahead and replace the cell here with, uh, I don't know, a low nuclear cell. And then we'll put a used nuclear cell in here and imprint. What? Shower of sparks, that's not what I wanted. I guess it still counts. Okay, well, whatever. We're gonna go to eat freehold. Uh, no, we're not. We're gonna go to Greek Gate. No, I didn't mean to do that. Why was disassemble the default? <sighs> disassemble was the default, and then I disassembled my Greek Gate recoiler. Fine. Well, I know Cud's in a mood right now, so we're gonna go to Ezra instead. And then I'm gonna have to go and buy myself a new Grit Gate recoiler. This was supposed to be quick, by the way. Um, I want to, uh, I want to do something. Now that we have telepathy, there's this very specific thing that we can do, which should be a lot of fun. Uh, just wanted to make sure, is there any... No, they keep giving me Christi flawless crystal long swords here, and I need crystal long swords, so that's cool. Um, we're gonna go ahead and walk to Grit Gate. Can you imagine if you were like actually in Caves of Cud and you like, oh yeah, I'll just disassemble my recoiler to Grit Gate, and now you have to walk literally like you know hundreds of miles. I, I swell with the inspiration to not care at all right now. <laughs> um, we could check out our, see, see if our uh, Iker merchant has renewed their goods real quick. I don't think they have. No. And then the other ones have? No. Okay. So we're going to leave. We're going to go to Gritgate. Buy ourselves a recoiler. You know how uh, if you disassemble a cell, like a blood cell or a lava cell, you get you get covered or poured. You know, a bunch of, of you know liquid gets poured on you. If you if you were to disassemble a solar cell, you know, it'd be fun. Is is you are covered in sunshine. That'd be fun. I like that. Flexi weaved, padded, spiked, visored. I don't think we need any of those. I know we don't need any of these bits. Okay, so let's talk to Mafio, who is asleep. Um, trade. Give me a recoiler with no cell. Perfect. Cool. Um, 
though I can't I wanted to come to Grit Gate purely because it's close to Bethesda Sousa. Bethesda Sousa is where we are going. And it is a place it's been a it's been a subject of, of many achievements on this run. Well not really many. Really just actually none now now that I think about it. But uh it's been like I've I've been like fritzing around with this whole make friends with the trolls business and I've been um, un unable to make friends with one of them. We're friends with two of them. So we just need to make friends with the third. The third is tricky because they're invisible. However, um, now that I have telepathy, I should be able to see them and there they are. So we can share a dram finally with the third troll. Uh, we are really not on good terms with with mollusks. Unfortunately, that still doesn't put us high enough on their on our reputation to uh, <laughs> to like buy any secrets from them, which is the only reason to make friends with the the, the trolls. We need to put a uh, cell in their grit gate recoiler. So uh, real quick, I say I keep saying real quick, and then like doing a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm gonna buy some secrets from the. Um, Barathermites because they also have some really good secrets. I've been meaning to do that for quite a long time and, and just straight up have not been. But they have secrets on how to get certain really good stuff. Uh, I'm going to do this Barathermite by Bar Barathermite. This guy has nothing. Um, I, I resisted making friends with quite a lot of the Barathermites because they had not great reputation on this run. But um, we're gonna we're gonna see. Some of it might be no longer, a, you know, an unworthy trade. What about you, Mafio? Nope. You have no no nothing for me. What about Neek? Neek, do you have some reputation? Nope. Otho. Otho should have some reputation. Otho is pretty reputable. Disliked by robots and go folk. Okay, well, robots still sucks, but I'm willing to make that trade. Okay, so uh, share a, a secret with me. Location of some forgotten ruins. Aha! Location of the Snapjaw who wields stops Fallon. Perfect. One more. Location of Chromium Dwelling Shimmer. So those are some pretty good secrets. Let's also do cute girl. She'll have some secrets of, uh, worth worthwhile. Disliked by Badles. Admired by the Iazapur's husband family. Sh sure. I, I don't know. Waking someone up in the middle of the night to share a dram. It's a very cud thing to do. Forgotten ruins. Cobalt shelter shimmer. Uh, Is Ilishan Room. I'm sure those are good secrets. And, uh, of course the last one we can do, um, is we can talk to Barathrum. Barathrum themselves have a reputation and probably has some good secrets for us as well. Stops Fallon is actually an achievement. I haven't had Stops Fallon for a very long time, so I'm pretty excited to, to get it. Um, what kind of rep do you have? Hated by the Pewtis Templar, admired by... Okay. Yeah, this is fine. What? You have no secrets for me? Why, why can't it? Has no more secret, secrets to share. Okay. Well, that sucks. All right. So, uh, on the next episode, we're probably going to finish fighting the cherubs. Although, there isn't really much benefit now that we've gotten our mask. Um... But uh, we can go and get Stops Fallon at the very least. That's that's an easy achievement. Um, I would get it this episode, but it's run long and, you know, we should save something for the next episode. Uh, if you're enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.